So, you know, so we have the value which is yung enthalpy 7 is 385.9 0 sa 22 kilojoule per kilogram. So, for the temperature naman, we have that will be uh, 0 0.52. So, this is equal to we have your 38 minus the temperature of the condenser. So, that will be minus uh, 38 uh, degree Celsius minus my 40 degree Celsius. Okay, so, transpose natin dito. We have 0 0.52 times uh, 38 minus my 40. And this is equal to 38 minus my temperature ng condenser. So, finally, the temperature of the condenser with the corresponding pressure. So, that would be 38 degrees Celsius minus, uh, that would be 0 0.52 times 38 minus my 40. And we have the temperature of the condenser is equal to, this is equal to 439.04 uh, so degrees Celsius. Okay, so check natin kung dikit nga ba dun sa ano natin, values. So usually 40, so again, 39.04 is still in, ano pa rin, uh, boundary pa rin ng 38 saka 40. So, uh, we have, uh, we can say further that interpolation natin is correct. Now, let's try to plot that one sa, ano natin, uh, pH diagram, no? So, kung 39, di ba? Kung 39, so we have Somewhere here, 39 degrees Celsius, ito yung 40, so dikit lang siya dito, 39. Huh? Somewhere here, dito lang siya banda. Okay. Dito lang siya banda. Which is dikit na dikit dito sa natin. So which is dikit dito. Somewhere here, no? 39. Somewhere here. Decade. No? Yeah. So, that will be the location. Okay. So, that will be the location ng temperature natin, which is... Ay, sorry. Let me adjust this one. Okay, so that is the 39. So we have the temperature is 39.04 uh, degrees Celsius. And the corresponding pressure, which is, uh, this is my pressure, uh, that will be equal to 1 point, uh, let me check that one, so that is 1 point uh, 51.42. So 1 point 51.42. So, MPA, so that will be my pressure. So, we have um, draw the line dito naman, so which is yung intersecting ng pababa. No? So, we have the location ng um, liquid natin. So, this is, will be 1, 2, so this is my point, uh, this is my 3, and this is my where my 5, 6, uh, this is my point seven. No, 7, and we have my uh, point 0.8. Okay. Then, then point 0.8, we have here, uh, sorry, that is 5, 8. Then, this is my, where my, ano, uh, compression naman ng point 0.5 at this, at, this, at this point. So, this is my 5. Okay. So, we have the value ng enthalpy 7, and also, this is the value of my enthalpy 8. It will be 385.9. Now, for the value ng 0.5, so this is the intermediate pressure. So, pwede natin gamitin yung values na nakuha na natin kanina. So, usually, uh, for the intermediate pressure, we have the location here, which is yung vapor, uh, liquid. Now, what we need to find is the enthalpy 5, which is in between the two, which is in terms of vapor. No? So, let's try to interpolate here to get yung exact value. 
So this will be my enthalpy uh, enthalpy five. And this is my enthalpy five. So let's try to interpolate this one. Okay. Okay. So equate natin yan. So yung tina natin ng values we have. 1457.81 so 14 this is equal to 1457.81 so minus my enthalpy 5 so that would be my enthalpy 5 and then uh 1457.81 again so it would be 1 457.81 minus my ano ba din at doon 1460.06 so that is 1460.06 so cross multiply we have 1457.81 minus that will be 1460.06 so, equate natin dito, we have 1457.81, so minus my enthalpy 5. So, your enthalpy 5 now is equal to uh, 1457.81 minus 0 0.5 times 1457.81 minus... 1460.06 so the enthalpy 5 is equal to so again it this is now equal to 1458.935 uh, so this is kilojoule per kilogram now checking kung tama ba yan so let's again uh, tignan natin yung value doon sa from the table so that is 1457.81 and 1460. So what we have is 1458. Uh, okay. So we have now the properties of your enthalpy 5. So that is 1458.935 uh, from the previous uh, interpolation. So from 5, we have an isentropic compression. Uh, 5 to 6. So let me draw the line uh, representing my isentropic compression. Okay. And we have the point that intersect the point 6. So yan yung point 6. That will be my point 6. And let's try to interpret the value of my point 6. Now for my enthalpy 6, so that will be this is 1600. And this is 50 and the other one is 1,700. So I can say that is 1,680. So this is kilojoule per kilogram. Okay, so we have now completed the data to get yung mga ba values ng enthalpy natin that representing the process. So let me do a summarize on this one. Now I have made the summarized value of the enthalpy's value for my low stage and the high stage so that we can easily use this one to solve yung mga properties na hinahanap doon sa problem. Okay, so first question here uh, for the solution uh, we hinahanap is what is the mass flow rate in the low pressure loop? Mass flow rate, that will be the mass flow rate of the refrigerant. Now, Remembering that our equation of your evaporator, so that will be equal to the mass flow rate na, and the change in enthalpy. So, tignan natin again yung, ano no, yung cycle diagram. So, we have at low pressure loop, so that is the change in enthalpy from point 0.1 to point 0.4. Okay, so, that will be the equation. So, mass flow rate, we have enthalpy 1 minus my enthalpy 4. And this is equal to the load of 90 tons. No? Yung load ng evaporator natin, which is equal to 90 tons. Now, to convert this one in terms of watts, so we have the conversion, which is yung, uh, that will be, um, that is 3.52. So we have 
uh, this is in terms of like a kilowatt and divided by this is equivalent to one tons of uh, refrigerant so we have that one okay it's, and this is equal this is equal to three point uh i sorry this is equal to three one six point eight so this is uh, kilojoule per second now three one six point eight it will be kilojoule per second so this is equal to the mass flow rate ng refrigerant at uh low stage so lagyan natin low stage okay lagyan na natin yan then this is multiplied by the value of enthalpy one now let's check that one yung value ng enthalpy from the summarized table uh, summarized value so that is equal to 1415.67 and for the value naman ng enthalpy 4 again let's check enthalpy 4 so that will be equal to 183.69 this is now equal to kilojoule per kilogram so finally the mass flow rate at the lower stage or lower loop so this is equal to 0 0.257 okay so this is kilogram per second now next question is what is the mass flow rate at the high pressure loop in order to do that um we need to do an energy balance dito sa iba uh, sa ating ano uh call this uh direct contact heat exchanger so yung loop ng mababa so usually mass flow rate dito mass flow rate it will be a uh, given na sa problem uh, given na na-solve natin yun then by energy balance we may able and also that enthalpy nito at enthalpy nito we may able now to determine uh what is the mass flow rate the high pressure loop so we have here isolating yung direct contact heat exchanger. So, meron tayo dito that will be the mass flow rate uh, 0.8 and meron tayong enthalpy at 0.8. So, this will usually ito yung 0.8 natin. Eh? 0.8 and ito naman yung 5. 5, 6, 7, 8. And we have the 0.2 dito which is yung discharge from the compressor. 2 and we have your 3.3 .3 dito. <laughs> Then, simpre, lalabas dito, we have the mass flow rate then ng uh, 0.5 and we have the enthalpy of 0.5. And also sa baba, so this is from the high pressure loop and we have the low pressure naman, we have the mass flow rate at 0 0.3, 0 0.3 and also we have the enthalpy, enthalpy at 0.3 and papasok dito, we have the mass flow rate at 0.2 and we have the enthalpy at 0.2 okay so by doing an energy balance dito sa system no so let's do an energy balance dito so para makuha natin yung value ng mass flow rate at the high pressure loop so again we have lahat ng energy entering so we sum lahat ng energy entering so makikita nyo dito uh on this uh, isolated heat exchanger direct contact, we have entering. So, ano entering natin dito? That will be 0 0.8. So, that will be mass flow rate at 0 0.8 times the enthalpy, so energy. No? Then, plus yung entering, we have the mass flow rate at 0 0.2 and we have the enthalpy at 0 0.2. And this is equal to yung leaving naman palabas doon sa heat exchanger natin so that will be the mass flow rate at 0.3 and we have enthalpy at 0.3 then plus leaving on the other side naman we have the mass flow rate of 0.5 and we have the enthalpy at 0.5 now yun dito so pwede natin uh, we can say uh, we can say that our mass flow rate ng 0.8 is equal to the mass flow rate at 0.5 and this is also equal to the mass flow rate at 0.6 
and is also equal to the mass flow rate at 0.7. And also, so this is for the uh, high pressure loop, no? Or high pressure uh, at the high stage, so high pressure. Now, for the low pressure naman, we have uh, the mass flow rate at 0.1 is equal to the mass flow rate na uh, 0.2 and is also equal to the mass flow rate ng 0.3. And is equal also the mass flow rate of 0.4. And this is for my low pressure uh, group. And ito is also equal to the mass flow rate ng low stage. Which yung kanina na solve na natin, which is this one, 0 0.257. So meron na tayong value niyan that is equal to 0 0.257. So this is kilogram per second yung value niya. Then, ito, pwede ko nang sabihin, this is also the mass flow rate at the high stage. No? To, ano yan, para magkaroon natin ng isang value ng, high, ng mass flow rate at the high stage. So, let's go back to the, uh, uh, tawag dito sa uh, energy equation. So, we can combine lahat ng mga common masses natin dito. We have your mass flow rate at 0.8. At yung 5, so transpose that one, so we can say that our mass flow rate at point, uh, let's say, I'm gonna change this one. Baguhin na lang natin dito, this is will be, uh, oh, so, huwag muna. So, let's try to do an algebra muna dito. Then, lipat natin yung mass flow rate ng 5, and we have yung enthalpy 5, which is, this is equal now to the mass flow rate at point 0.3 and enthalpy at point 0.3. So, we minus natin yung mass flow rate ng 0.2 and we have the energy at 0.2. So, again, this is all, all equal. So, we can factor this one. Palito lang natin ng high pressure stage, so HS. So, I can say here that the mass flow rate, high stage, so that will be the change in enthalpy, enthalpy 5, no? And this is equal to mass flow rate, which is yung Low stage times my enthalpy at 0.3 and enthalpy at 0.2. Now, since ang mass flow rate at the low stage is already given, that is already nakuha natin 257. Now, ang hinahanap na lang natin is yung the uh, high stage. So, we can rewrite now yung equation at the high stage is equal to the mass flow rate at low stage times my enthalpy at 0.3, enthalpy at 0.2. And this is uh, all over divided by my enthalpy at 0.8 minus my enthalpy 5. So, let's substitute yung mga values dito in order makuha natin. So, we have um, value ng uh, low stage that will be 0 0.257. So, this is kilogram per second multiplied by the change in enthalpy at 0.3. So, for 0.3, we have... Enthalpy at 0.3, that is 183.69. So, I have 183.69. So, minus enthalpy 2. So, for the enthalpy 2, we have 1,580. So, this is 1,580. That is kilojoule per kilogram. And this is all over uh, divided by enthalpy 8. So again, enthalpy 8. So that is equal to enthalpy 7. That is 385.9. So ito ay 385 divided by 385.9 minus the value ng enthalpy 5. So ang enthalpy 5 ko is 1000. Oh, 1458. So this is uh, 1458. Point, uh, 935. So that is 935. Okay, so this is kilojoule per kilogram. So let's try to cancel yung common units natin dito. So that will be this one. Okay, and this one, no? And so the mass flow rate at the high stage now is equal to 
the value is 0 0.3344 okay so that will be kilogram per second so that will be the value of mass flow rate at the high stage now um next question is what will be the power required now for uh so dalawa yung power natin dito uh, that is for low stage and high stage now for the low stage we have the work so that will be the mass flow rate of the low stage times the change in enthalpy no system natin dito so that will be low stage so yan uh, 0.1 to 0.2 so that will be the value for 0.2 and 0.1 so we have work at the low stage so yung mass flow rate natin naman at the low stage so we have mass flow rate at the low stage is equal to 0 0.257 so this is 0 0.257. So this is kilogram per second. So multiply by value of ng enthalpy 2. That is 1580. This is 1580 minus the value ng enthalpy 1. That is uh, 1415. Huh? This is uh, 1415 point. So that is uh, point 0.67. So 67, this is now kilojoule per kilogram. So we may be able to cancel the kilogram dito and compute now yung work ng low stage. So I have, uh, that is 42, 42.23. So this is, uh, kilojoule per second now for my high stage naman high stage compressor ng work niya so work at the high stage so is equal to the mass flow rate at my high stage then multiply again refer to the uh, cycle diagram so that will be the change in enthalpy from 0 0.6 to 0 0.5 uh, so this is enthalpy 6 minus my enthalpy 5 so work at the high stage now you must flow rate at the high stage so from the energy balance so we have 0 0.3344 so that is equal to 0 0.3344 so this is kilogram per second let me check double check okay then uh, multiply by enthalpy uh, enthalpy 6 so enthalpy 6 that is 1680 we have 1680 minus uh, enthalpy 5 so that is 1458 so this is 1458 uh, that is 0.935 Nine three five is nine three five, and this is kilojoule per kilogram. So cancel the common units natin dito. This one, na, and to pala hindi natin ay cancel ito kanina. Okay. So work at the high stage is equal to. So I have the work which is equal to seventy three point nine two four. So this is a uh, kilojoule per second. Now for the work, so we're going to sum up yung dalawa. So that will be uh, 42 for the low stage, 42.23. Uh, that will be kilojoule per second. Then plus, uh, that will be 73.924. So that is kilojoule per second. So finally, yung work total natin is equal to is equal to uh, that is 116.154 so this is a uh, kilojoule per second or it can be as kilowatt so let's check yung uh, let's check yung overall solution now from point c now uh, question letter d we are looking for the cop 
Now, now yung COP natin, uh, so remembering from the previous lecture, no, that the value of your COP, uh, so that will be um, yung ref effect, no? So that is the ref effect. So the equation is equal uh, ref effect or yung tinatawag na useful cooling divided by the compressor's work. So now yung ano natin dito, ref effect. So we have, balikan natin yung cycle diagram. No? So we have the cycle diagram. Ang ref effect mo dito, yung useful cooling, we have this part. So that will be the change in enthalpy 1 and 4. No? So that will be change in enthalpy from uh, 1 and 4. So that will be enthalpy 1 minus my enthalpy 4. Then the compressor's work. Uh, so that will be uh, the change in enthalpy rin also. So usually the mass uh, uh, with ano pala to, with ref effect which is yung kasama ang mass flow rate. Uh, mass flow rate at the low stage. No? Kasi nga magkaiba nga pala yung mass flow rate at the high stage. So, and divided by uh, the total compressor's work, uh, which is this one. We have your work uh, total. So, let's try to substitute ng values dito. So, yung value ng uh, ano natin from previous ng evaporator or useful cooling we have 316.8 okay so this is 316.8 so this is kilojoule per second and this is um all over divided by yung total work ng compressor so which is uh 116.8 one by four so this is hundred sixteen point one five four so this is kilojoule per second okay so i have the value of cop that is equal to uh, two point uh, seventy three okay okay so we have the plus no another solution so last question meron tayo dito is we are required to find the quality of the fluid entering the evaporator. Now referring doon sa ating psych, uh, pH diagram, so yung hinahanap is the quality. No? Quality of the refrigerant entering doon sa ano natin sa point 4 before since this is the evaporator portion from 1 uh, 4 to 1, no? So the fluid that uh, the quality uh, no how much is the percentage no quality of the fluid that is entering kung ilan ang um, uh, richness of uh, you call this part of the liquid no uh, percentage of quality na meron tayo before mag enter sa point 4 so the equation for that one is we have uh, the enthalpy at point 4 minus my uh, Enthalpy at point four, and that will be enthalpy of uh, that will be yung enthalpy mo at point four, which is in terms of vapor. So this is in terms of uh, vapor. So I will put here uh, F, FG at point four. No, so I F, F, I H F G at point four. And this is uh, all over uh, divided by the enthalpy or the change in enthalpy, no? Or it can be as already uh, we call this. Uh, this is the FFG or yung liquid. So this is or the liquid part na ito, no? And this is the change in enthalpy from vapor to uh, B4 to liquid. So this is a uh, change of uh, from gaseous or let's say palitan natin. Let me rewrite this one as 
B4 no and minus my call this uh, uh liquid HF so palitan natin to in order na walang confusion here so we have HG FFG so this is FG at point 4 and this is FG and this is fluid and this is we have your vapor okay now the value of my enthalpy for referring doon sa uh, natin summary of values enthalpy for um so bila so low pressure side so that is 183.69 so i have 100 this is 100 uh, 183.9 so 183.9 so minus so yung liquid part nito now referring to VH diagram yung part ng liquid at this pressure no kung titignan natin to so ito yon so which is usually this is the gaseous and we need to find ito yung liquid na ito so this is how much is the value of this one so referring to the anong temperature nito negative uh that is negative 11 negative 35 okay now from the pH uh, table negative 35 uh, we need to find the value nito in part na ito so the liquid so what we're going to do here is again so we'll be uh, making an interpolation na naman dito para makuha ito and we have uh, which is yung liquid so this is the liquid HF. Okay, so let me change pala doon ng karang nagkamay ito. So I sorry that is the liquid. Okay, so we have this one, no? Um so this will be my HF uh HF4. So this is ito ang magiging HF4 ko. HF4. Okay. So we'll do an interpolate para makuha natin yan. Okay. Okay. So we have to interpolate yung values niyan to get yung HF4. So again, so ito ay nakuha pa rin dito sa value niya. So by means of interpolation. No? So let's try to solve this one. So that will be uh, 0 0.5 is equal now to so not equal and you have to multiply close parenthesis so multiply by uh, 36.88 and minus that will be 45.77 and this is equal to 36.88 and minus my n h f4 now for the value to get the value of h f4 so transpose natin yan so we have 36.88 so minus 0 0.5 times uh, 36.88 so minus my 45.77 so finally we have the value hf4 is, is equal to so this is equal now to 41.325 so this is kilojoule per kilogram okay so let's try to check okay so 41 so we are in between okay that's correct then uh, let's try to substitute that equation so we have your value known so so that will be 41 no so this is 41 point uh, three two five then in terms of vapor in vapor at point four so again let's check so usually in terms of point uh so there's a side diagram so at point four yung vapor nito so usually at this stage ang vapor nyan yung part na ito which is already yung value ng enthalpy one no so that is uh 1415 okay so let's try to substitute that one 
14.15, no? This is uh, 14.15. So, the value is 14.15. So, minus, uh, this is one also, 41.325. Okay. So, finally, so I have the value which is equal to 10. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is zero point no so zero point one zero three no seven now in terms of percentage usually the quality is that is in terms of percentage so times more than one hundred it will be ten point thirty seven percent okay so that concludes the solution uh Mabahaba lang siya, usually just because of the interpolation that we have made, the equation, yun ang nagpatagal dito, okay? But, again, so yung basic pa rin ng pag-solve nito, that mostly is the change in enthalpy pa rin naman lahat, no? Okay, so just only a quick overview sa solutions, uh, we have this one. And, pwede naman ulit ulitin, so you can... Uh, always change no uh para you can pwedeng ulit ulitin yung video so that's why it is being recorded so you can always play uh the solutions kung hindi na intindihan you can always uh, replay and please follow na lang yung ano uh, step by step solutions no usually uh it will be easier if you will try to solve the problem and then solve it by yourself and pag na-solve ninyo then compare doon sa solution ko usually magiging sagot din naman natin dyan it will be ano lang din naman uh, always magkalapit hindi naman tayo maglalayo so usually pagkuha ng enthalpy so again so dinemonstrate ko naman yan and makikita nyo rin so you, this was a uh, problem some uh this is a problem from santa maria no if you will going to check uh, page 197 this is a problem one so makikita nyo dyan yung solution ko and the answer is almost magkalapit lang din siya at hindi siya maglalayo so once kasi pag ma-interpret mo na maayos yung value ng enthalpy sa ph diagram in also the table and pag tama rin ang pag-interpolate mo so again so binibigyan ko naman ng points yan if uh, magkalapit lang yung sagot so wag naman na sobrang layo so usually pag nagsobrang layo na yan eventually uh, mali na yung solutions nyo big sabihin no nagkamali kanya is either kamali kanya substitute ng value or kamali kanya interpolate ng value okay so be careful lang pag interpolate ng value and also interpret inter, interpreting yung uh, pH diagram okay